blue mist flower. Also known as bone set. for something right here. This is Eastern Grape Fern. When it gets cold, the stem and the back side of the leaves turn real pretty purple. And then this turns to pollination powder. And when you bump it, it just, you know, it's magical. When the wind blows, they just start releasing their pollen or their spores. It's not a pollen, I'm sorry. It's a spore. It's a spore. It's got to be a spore. They're everywhere over here. They're just now starting to push up that shoot. Where's some more? They're everywhere over here. Let's see. There. Eastern grape ferns. I don't know what kind of ferns those are, but those are like in a lot of places. Let's see what else I can find. Blackberries are good for more than just the blackberries. You can take these leaves right here and make a tea out of it, and it's really good for you. You see how dark green it is? You're going to get a lot of iron and a lot of minerals, a lot of vitamin C, but there's a lot of antioxidants and other things. It's good for a lot of things. I just can't remember right off the top of my head. Uh, I know anti-inflammatory and all that good stuff. So blackberry leaves. You can go pick them and make, dry them and make tea out of them. Wild grape leaves. You can pickle, it has so many tannins in it, you can pickle lots of things. And it's a natural probiotic type of pickling process. It's really healthy. You can wrap up like all kinds of things and cook it inside of grape leaves. Grape leaves are very, very good for you. This is wild carrot. They're just really small right now. Wild carrot is really good for women's health. If you took the seeds right here, like I, if you took these seeds and you made a tincture out of it, it's a natural birth control. But it's also really good for tons of other things. I don't make a birth control, but I do make a tincture with it. But it is important to know for some people, maybe. You know, I can't remember the name of this. It's like Cobb something. Puppy. She's been gone to the lake all weekend and I missed her. I didn't get to see her. So, 
don't remember what it's called off the top of my head and I didn't want to stop the video to look it up but it's totally edible and it's really good in a salad Cobb something but you can see it's like Zeus hi okay go 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 it tastes really good it's really mild you can eat it fresh I like to put it in salads and then my family don't even know it's there which is pretty awesome because they always are like no no don't do that so kind of have to trick them sometimes Pine needle tea is one of the easiest ways to get vitamin C when you're out in the wild. Boil you some water, throw your pine needles in it, drink it. You're going to get more vitamin C from that and more energy and minerals, lots of things, just from that one cup of tea. It would keep you going in an emergency situation, no doubt. But it also tastes good. It's really good. It's antibacterial, you know, all the good stuff. These are good things. I hope you learned something. Maybe you could use it. Peace.